Hey, what's up? John Sanvez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got a, a question about how to increase your salary as a software developer. I thought I'd do a video on this. I've, actually, I've gotten quite a few questions on this, this topic. It's, it's a pretty popular topic, I think, and how to increase your salary as a programmer, how to increase your salary as a software developer. So I thought I'd address this here. So, so how do you do it? You know, I, I can't give you a huge amount of detail because this is going to be a short video, but I want to give you sort of the, the key things that I think that are, are going to make the biggest difference that are going to result in, in the highest salary that, that you can possibly get. So first of all, the, the first thing that you have to realize is that what you earn is a function of, of how much opportunity is out there, right, and how many chances. And so. So there's two ways to get opportunities. So what I mean is, is, is it's like this, right? If you could get an interview with 2,000 companies, right, or not an interview, let's say you got a job offer from 2,000 companies, 2,000 companies wanted to hire you, you'd probably have like a bell curve distribution of the salaries they were willing to pay you, okay, right? So there'd be some people that would be paying you really peanuts, so, and then most of the companies would be right in the middle about the average of, for your skill and experience. And then there'd be some, some that would be like, man, this guy's just freaking awesome. We were going to pay him a ridiculous amount of money, and they'd be paying you a ridiculous amount of money. And so the reason why I'm, I'm starting there is because that's, I want you to understand the principle behind this, right? Because this, is, this principle applies if you're trying to be a consultant and you're trying to bill a high hourly rate, right? Or if you're trying to sell a product or if you're trying to increase your salary, okay? And, and the principle is that. It's just that the, the number, the volume that you have is gonna determine how many of those, those people on that, that end of the bell curve, right, that are willing to pay you a lot of money or pay a lot for your product or your service, how many of those there are. And as a, as a developer, if you're trying to get a, a job, you only need one of those, right? So I guarantee you, in, in many of those situations, you could get a salary that's twice what your, your salary is now, right, if you had enough opportunity. Now, here's the thing about that. It doesn't mean that you can just like send out 5,000 resumes and knock on doors and be like, you know, and try to find those. The, the amount of opportunity you have, remember I said job offers. I didn't say interviews. I didn't say companies to apply for. I said offers when I talked about that bell curve is because the amount of those that you're going to get is going to be directly related to two things. One, your technical ability, your, your skills. What, what skill set do you have and how valuable is that skill set? And two, your ability to market that skill set to market yourself. So if you want to increase your salary, what do you got to do? Well, you got to, you got to take your skill set. It's got to be high enough. And then you got to take marketing, which is branding yourself, building your personal brand, all that. You can, you can check out, I've got a course on how to market yourself as a software developer, if you're interested in that, okay? But marketing is sort of like a multiplier to, brand, to, to your skills, right? So if you have high technical skills, and you have good marketing, it can, it can 100x that ability. It can, it can make it, it's like a megaphone where you can reach more possible employers, you can reach more possible clients, right? You can reach more possible customers, okay? And so that's, that's, that's the key thing is you gotta have enough skill, you gotta have enough marketing so you can reach more people. And when you reach more people, if you got a huge range of employers that are, potentially going to give you job offers, you're going to have a, a much higher chance of getting that salary, right? This is, and, and the juicier fish, right? The better your technical skills are, the better your marketing is, the bigger your name is, the more of those bigger companies, the fish that will pay you bigger salaries are going to be out there that are going to be in your pool. If you don't have very many technical skills, if your technical skills are low, or you don't have a very valuable skill, okay, and your marketing is crap, you're not going to have very many places that you're going to be able to get offers from, so the chances of you getting lucky is going to be less, okay? So everything, everything is probability and statistics, okay? Everything in life, right? There's always luck, luck factor, right? But it's, it's about maximizing your luck. That's, a, that's why I hate when people say, oh, you, you just, this person got lucky. Bullshit, they didn't get lucky. They maximized their opportunity, and because they had so many damn lottery tickets, that's why they won, right? You know, except for real lottery winners, that doesn't apply, but you know what I'm saying. So, so here's, here's one other piece I'll throw in here. Geographic location. 
okay? So what is your pool, okay? If you are living in some small town in, in uh, Podunk, Iowa, okay, maybe there's only like one or two employers that have software development jobs. Maybe there's like a very small amount of software development jobs. And if that's where you're gonna live and that's where you're, where you're limiting your job search, well, then you're just artificially limited. You're not gonna be able to raise your salary, right? So, but if you go to San Francisco or you go to New York City or your whole, like the place that you're willing to search is the world, now you've got a, a, a bigger chance, right? So you gotta think about these things. This is, again, there's a lot of ways to, to talk about it. I could give you specific strategies to improve your skills to imp increase your salary, but I'd rather give you the full principle behind it. If you want to increase your salary, this is what you got to do. You got to figure out your end goal is how could I get is the, the, the largest pool of offers from the biggest fish possible. That's your, your end goal. And, and, that, and the way that you get that is, like I said, you expand your horizons. Like you can look outside, look all over the world. Okay, you can look in the expensive areas, and you have to take your your technical skills times the marketing, and that's what's going to what's going to get you that. That's going to get that's going to create the megaphone that's going to let you blast blast it out to all those people. All right, if you like this video, go ahead and click that subscribe button below if you haven't already. I'll share with you more tips and more tools. Uh, if you sign up for a Simple Programmer uh, YouTube channel, you're gonna get all, all kinds of stuff about improving your career, making more money, improving yourself, uh, You know, trusting the process. Click on me if you wanna get this shirt, and uh, I'll talk to you next time. Take care.